Welcome back from the break. Before we went for the break, we were looking at disyllabic words. Now, let us look at trisyllabic words. These are words with three syllables. For example, personal, politics, logical, interact, computer, horizon, possible, general, separate, physical, and so on. Polysyllabic words. These are words with more than three syllables. For example, buffalo, accurate, cabinet, composition, conference, customary, horizon, admirable, adorable, anonymous, automatic, circumnavigation, autobiography, extraterrestrial, characterization, hydroelectricity, revolutionary, imperialism, responsibility, humanitarian, California, personality, abomination, electricity, individual, diabolical, extraordinary, invigilator, acceleration, globalization, deforestation, and procrastination. Now, how to count syllables? Firstly, students may be wondering why they should learn syllables. Understanding syllables helps a lot with pronunciation. As we speak, if we miss or add a syllable to a word, people may not be able to understand us. When we say a word, the sounds we create naturally divide the word into parts. We call these parts syllables. For example, the word machine has two parts, m and shin. The word important has three parts, important. Now, two syllable words. These are words with two syllables when pronounced. It is simply put as words when spoken have two definite sounds. They are called disyllabic words. For example, purple, perfect, twelve, silver, seven, thirteen, about. Again, Thursday, Tuesday, Evan, Happy, 60, Country, Angel, Freedom, Abel, Music, Anna, Thousand, Nature, Kelly, Open, Welcome, woman, party, perfect, sugar, testy, human, and even. These are all called two syllables.